Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. Our movie starts with the story of a religious fanatic who is sitting alone in her house on her bed. Giving birth to a baby girl, she intended to expel the infant, but later she changes her mind. Many years later, her daughter, a shy loner, is nearing the end of her education at the local high school. When the shy girl showers after gym at school, she experiences her first period. She's never been taught to prepare for something like this, and she thinks she's bleeding out. So she runs out of the shower yelling for help. The other girls make fun of her by throwing things at her. A mean girl makes videos of the whole thing on her smartphone and uploads them to YouTube. Then the school's gym teacher reassures the shy girl and sends her home with her mom, who believes that menstruating is sinful. The mom insists that the shy girl abstain from showering with the others. When the shy girl refuses to do what she suggests, she hits her forehead with a Bible and puts her in her prayer closet. As the shy girl screams to be let out, a crack appears on the door, and the crucifix in the closet begins to bleed. The shy girl begins to experience more, more things in the coming days that indicate that she has telekinetic powers. She studies her abilities and learns to harness them. The gym teacher warns the girls who tease the shy girl with an ultimatum. Either they endure boot camp detention for their behavior, or they will be suspended from school with the result that they cannot attend prom. The mean girl is the only one who refuses to participate in the detention. She is suspended from school and prom. The popular girl, whom the mean girl is friends with, regrets her participation in the incident. So she can make amends, she asks her boyfriend to take the shy girl to the prom. The shy girl accepts the boyfriend's invitation and sews her own prom dress. Her mother does not allow her to attend, asking her mother to let it go. The shy girl demonstrates the power of her telekinesis. The mother thinks that this power comes from the devil. She concludes that the shy girl has been corrupted by sin. Then the mean girl, her bully boyfriend, and his friends are planning to get revenge on the shy girl. So, they gather some pig remains and put them in a bucket. When the night of prom comes, the mom tries to stop the shy girl from going. But the shy girl uses her power to lock her mother in the closet. At the prom, the shy girl feels nervous and self-conscious, but the boyfriend calms her. The bully and mean girl tell someone to sneak in some fake ballots, so the polling box names the shy girl and the boyfriend as prom queen and king. At home, the popular girl gets a text from the mean girl, bragging about her plan to humiliate the shy girl. The popular girl drives to the prom and arrives just when the shy girl and her boyfriend prepare to be crowned. The bully warns the mean girl not to tell anyone about the bucket as it is a crime. The mean girl agrees to say nothing. When the popular girl sees the bucket hanging above the shy girl, she tries to warn someone. The teacher locks her out of the gym. She mistakenly suspects that the popular girl is planning to harm the shy girl. The mean girl dumps the contents of the bucket onto the shy girl and the boyfriend. They play the shower video of the shy girl on the screens above the stage, and it causes the audience to laugh. When the teacher tries to help, the shy girl pushes the teacher away. Meanwhile, the bucket falls on the head of the boyfriend. The shy girl is enraged. She uses her telekinesis to attack almost every student and staff member, but she spares the teacher. A short electrical wire merges with water that is leaking, starting a fire. When the school is burning down, the shy girl walks away, leaving behind a trail of destruction. The mean girl and the bully both try to drive away but the shy girl crashes the car. When that mean girl tries to run the shy girl over, the shy girl lifts the car up and throws it at a gas station. She also tips over an electricity pole, causing the car to burn. She returns home, and then she bathes and changes into her nightgown. She cries as she tells the mom about the prank. Then the two girls embrace, and the mom tells about the shy girl's conception. One night the husband and his wife shared a bed platonically. They were tempted. So the father prayed for some strength and he took the mother. And the mother enjoyed it. After she finishes talking, the mom attacks the girl on the back. She declares that she must get rid of the shy girl, in order that the devil does not try to take over her again. She tries to attack the shy girl, but the shy girl retaliates. Then she becomes hysterical, and suddenly large amounts of stones start to fall from the sky in the house. When the popular girl arrives, the shy girl lifts her with her powers, but she senses that the popular girl is pregnant with a baby girl. The shy girl protects the popular girl, and throws that girl out of the house to be safe. As the house falls apart, the shy girl sinks along with it. After testifying at court concerning the prom incident, the popular girl goes to the shy girl's grave which has been vandalized. She puts white roses on the headstone. As the girl leaves, the gravestone starts to crack, and the shy girl's screams can be heard. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos, and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos.
Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.